Welcome to The God Room with Danny Hobble. Danny's art ministry has touched millions of people around the world. For the past four decades, Danny has shared his talent by spreading the Word of God through art. Join us now as Danny shares his inspiration behind the talent in The God Room. Hi, welcome to The God Room. I'm Danny Halbom, and this is my lovely wife, Diana Halbom. And today what we'd like to talk to you about is to love me is to know me. And what I'm talking about is not us personally, but the Lord. Mm. I think, you know, if you're watching this show, uh, nine times out of ten, you love the Lord. And it's, I think the point that we wanted to make was, you know, it's one thing to love the Lord, and yet it's a totally in different thing mm -hmm. to be in love with the Lord. I know for, for me it was an experience that I had to go through an operation to realize that, mm -hmm. that I loved the Lord, I really did. And I followed Him, I served Him, I did everything I could because I loved the Lord. But after the operation, uh, the Lord made a change in me to where now I'm spending more time with the Lord in my God room, in my separate time with the Lord, just me and God, and to get to know Him. And through that, I've now become in love with God. Mm -hmm. And it's so much a stronger bond. You know, so I mean, do you feel that by spending that time with the Lord, uh, a lot of your life you were consumed with doing things for the Lord, painting and doing works, and right. all those good things are wonderful. But did you find that when you were in a position where you were just uh, quiet and just with Him, that that love began to truly grow deeper? Well, it's like anything. It's it's like us. You know, mm -hmm. it, you know, you're my wife, and I love you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you get to know that person more, mm -hmm. and you become, you know, that intimate part, and I don't mean intimate in a sexual sense, but intimate in just mm -hmm. knowing your thoughts, knowing who you are, you know who I am. Right. When you have that connection, it's such a stronger love, and now, mm -hmm. instead of just loving you, because there's a lot of people that love you. Yeah. I mean, there are. There's a lot of people that love right. Diana. But, you know, I am mm -hmm. in love with you. So and that think, makes that stronger. So do you think it's like uh, when somebody's dating and they they know a person and in that realm, but once they get married and they truly spend that time every day with that person, right. they truly begin to, to know them, and it ha it really still stems mm -hmm. from really spending that time, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, like I said, it's it's you know you can love uh, again, like my wife was just saying, dating. Okay, and that's like knowing the Lord, coming to the yeah. Lord. You know, you 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 love Him, and it's like, oh, I really love God, and I love you know, and and your your whole world opens up, and then when you spend your time with the Lord, your quality time with God, just you and God, someplace quiet, no telephones, yeah. no kids running around, nothing like that, and you spend that time with the Lord day by day, you get to know Him more and more, and you be you yeah. become in love with him even deeper and deeper just like you do with mm -hmm. other people I'd like to share a Bible verse with you if I could it's in Matthew 22 37 and it says thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and all thy mind and I, th I think what it was saying what Matthew was trying to say was was just pretty much what we were saying it's like you know don't just love the Lord you know like like you mm -hmm you love people or whatever I mean really with everything that's in you love God and you know if you spend that alone time and that quality time with him you will fall in love with him and once you get to know God how could you not love him he is love you know and you know that's the whole thing like I was saying for me it made a, a totally different change in my life I mean it wasn't that I was living a bad life or a non-christian life I was you know, mm -hmm. living a, a Christian life, but I wasn't, didn't have that total connection. And you get that when you have your, um, your quiet al alone time. We call it the God room, but again, it could be anywhere. It could be in your car. It doesn't have to be a room. You know, it could be out in the middle of a field or mm -hmm. something where there's just nothing. Just It's just you and God alone. And that's when you get to know Him and He gets to know you. And spend time to listen, mm -hmm. too. Don't just 
go into your God room, your alone time, and just you know say a bunch of prayers and, and feel with God, and then get up and walk away, mm -hmm. because you have to spend time quietly to listen what He's got to say. A conversation's a two-way street. Yeah. Because it, when we spend time with Him, that passion begins to grow. Yeah. And two, and when true. we stop spending time with Him and we stop reading or praying or having that, our heart does begin to grow colder. Yeah. And we begin to do things out of obedience because we think we're supposed to for the Lord, but not out of relationship and love and yearning. Yeah. Um, we need to be able to get up every morning excited Lord, I want to spend time with you, you yeah. know, well, and, and, and that's when you're in love with someone. Yeah. I mean, when you're in love, you know, again, like when we were dating and stuff, you know, we fell in love and we were in love. You know, like you say, you get up in the morning, you can't wait to see that other person. Well, we yeah. should have that same feeling, you know, toward, toward God, you know, I mean, it's just... Uh, and, you know, too, I mean, when we first got married, I truly loved you, was passionately in love with you, but I really helped love you more and more and more every day, every year, well, you get to know, yeah. because I'm getting to know parts of you every day that can be unique and different from your relationship with God. Right. So exactly. as you begin to grow in Him and take on His characteristics, that true authentic who God had made you to be in the beginning, all those traits become, become blossoming in you. Well, so you know, the, and all that makes sense because if you're if you're growing more and more in the Lord, and that's what your quality time and getting to know Lord, and you're becoming more and more like Christ, which is what we're supposed to be doing, right. it makes sense that you would grow more and more in love with that person who is becoming more and more Absolutely. like God, who is love. I mean, it all Absolutely. ties right in. It's that circle yeah. that, you know, that it just works out well. Yeah. So... But anyway, that, that was the, the main message that we wanted to get over to you is, you know, I'm sure that you all love God, you know, or you wouldn't be watching this broadcast up to this point. Mm -hmm. But fall in love with God, you know, and, and you do that by knowing him better. Mm -hmm. You know, again, when you fall in love with a person, it's because, you know, you get to know them. You get to know them intimately, you know, mm -hmm. with the little quirks that they, uh, they do and, and so mm -hmm. forth. And, you know, the, the more you do that, the more you fall in love with him. And when you get that, when you start doing that, your life will totally change dramatically. And I think, and just like we're saying, people you. around and you all will your respond. Relationships will change. Yeah, exactly. Between you and your children, between you and your your church fellowship, you, you will love people and have a burden for souls like you didn't have before. And that, yeah, we and exactly. ourselves do not have that ability to love like Christ. Right. And it, it's if we can come every day like a sponge. You know, mm -hmm. and just absorb the Spirit and absorb the Lord, then, you know, what we were called to do on this earth, yeah. it will be done. But without, you know, having that time and absorbing and just drawing, drawing, you know, and filling up and being wet with passion and, and just ready to go out and, and do your, your work in the Lord. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Anyhow, so... You know, spend time with the Lord, get to know Him, and you'll love Him even more. And uh, truly, it is, once you get to know Him, like it says, to know me is to love me. Mm -hmm. I think that's what God is saying. Yeah. Did you have another scripture you were going to share? Yeah, I just read it. I thought you were going to read too. Going to read again? Let me read it again. Yeah. Uh, in Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven, it says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And we should. And as you get to know him, mm -hmm. you will want to more and more. So that's what we have to and say today. And everyone around you will love you more and more. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so thank you for being with us, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you for joining us in the God Room. You can visit us at www.inspired-art.com or email us at inspired art at comcast.net Spend time in your own God room daily. There is nothing more important in life than your personal relationship with God. Nothing.